Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew again from Advanced PCs. Welcome to another exciting video session. Alright, so this week I'm going to talk to you guys about Chrome connectivity. Specifically, Google Chrome not being able to connect to the internet after a Windows update install or push. Now this, this seems to be specific for, well actually both Windows 7 and Windows 8. But anyways, uh, I was actually having this issue for whatever reason. I had a had a user was not able to connect to the network or connect to the internet using Chrome after a Windows update has been pushed installed on their computer. Ironically enough, Windows not Windows but Internet Explorer they can get access to the internet using Internet Explorer. It's almost like Microsoft wants only its browser to work and everyone and everything else not not being connected you know connected and also this user also had issue with Outlook not being able to connect to the internet uh, or, or receive emails rather okay so in the event that you're running into this problem here's your solution or your culprit okay your firewall believe it or not your firewall for some reason gets kind of screwed up or or the configurations changes after some updates gets pushed from Microsoft okay specifically you want to check two firewall you want to check Windows firewall and you also want to check your anti virus firewall okay now specifically this user had Norton 360 uh, installed and Norton took over the firewall capabilities for Windows so so you want to go in and you want to check the both of them actually just check either either you want to enable the application Chrome in this instance and or Outlook that's being blocked enable it in the, in the, in the Windows firewall or the antivirus firewall or you can just disable the firewall altogether for whatever reason hey the Windows update tends to tends to interrupt that connectivity once it's being pushed okay now if you don't know how to get to the firewall it's real simple just do a search in Windows 7 or Windows 8 on, on how to get to the Windows firewall now for your specific antivirus depending on which one that you're using you have to go in there and kind of figure with it configure it a little bit so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop over to the computer real quick I'm gonna show you how to get to the Windows firewall okay so check it out okay guys so this is how you would get to the firewall within Windows so like I was telling you you just pretty much do a search so you just click here on start and just do a search for Windows firewall all right there you go well okay so you just click on Windows firewall right here another way in which you can get to it it went over to my other screen another way in which you can get to it um, that's the fastest way but you can also go to the control panel by clicking on start and then go into control panels and let me bring this over here again and under control panels you want to go to security and in security there you have Windows firewall okay so that's another way to get to it alright so essentially what you want to do um, real simple you just want to either go here where it says turn Windows firewall on or off that's one way of doing it alright so it's on obviously it's on on this one you can just turn it off even though it says not recommended but depending on how severe it is and if this you know if Chrome is just, just not it's just not connecting for whatever reason just go ahead and turn it off another way you can do it let me show you real quick is you can um, go to advanced settings and under advanced settings what you could do is you can do um, inbound rules you can create a rule um, to allow that program to connect just click on actions and then do new rule Okay, and then you want to have program selected or I guess you can go here and then you want to go where the the actual program or application resides so in this case it's going to be Chrome so you want to do a quick browse and you want to go I've already done it as you can see but let me take you exactly where I went to so if it was you want to go to the local C then you want to go to program files this is Windows 7 so you want to go program files x86 double click on that and then you want to go and search for Google because that's the creator manufacturer of Chrome 
double click here and then you want to go to Chrome and then you want to go to applications and then you want to allow Chrome say open say next and then you want to select allow the connection go next again you can leave you can pretty much leave everything checked say next and you want to name it like yeah Google Chrome connection or something right and then you, you just want to say you know connectivity issues or allowing Chrome to connect to the internet right whatever you want to list uh, name it name it as and then once you're done you're finished like I'm I'm fine so I don't need to actually complete this and then once you click on finish it's going to show up in the in the rules all right so, but if that's a little bit too complex for you like I said just go here turn windows firewall on or off go there and just turn it off here a public network location settings you could also turn this off as well if you're if you're still having some 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 uh, issues okay so that's how you would get to the firewall windows firewall and configure it there okay so there you have it so that's how you would get to windows firewall hopefully you, you saw the instructions and that was helpful okay so in the event you're having some connectivity issues with Google Chrome after a Windows update push to your computer check the firewall either Windows firewall and or your antivirus right hopefully you found that to be helpful share like anyone else that you know that can benefit from from this video please by all means share this video with them and again as, as usual any kind of question that you might be having, you know, you can reach out to me at www.advanced-pcs.com. And again, this is Andrew from Advanced PCs and Advanced PCs. We keep it simple. Until next time, take care.